Ooh, Smith and Wesson. Look at this box. Whoa. Oh my God, that's super heavy. Two of them. Straight combat knife. Ooh, a gun. We are here for the grand finale of the $430 gun hoarder storage unit. We've been in here three times already and have found a host of weapons. Handguns, rifles, assault rifles, knives, bows, crossbow, everything you can think of. And there's gonna be more. Let's finish this unit off and see what else we can find. Now we have to go up the right side of the unit. We have six big boxes, a bunch of mediums, a bunch of smalls, and who knows what else up front. First thing first, check out, ooh, it's heavy. This classic Coleman stove. So I guess something you take outdoors and you can hook up a propane tank to and camp outside. This says clothes, but those aren't clothes. Ooh, I see games in here too. I see those green cases. Green. Let's see what they got, Ghost Recon? Don't tell me they're cases. Why? Why? Are these all Ooh, more Xbox One, like Halo? It's just the games that aren't in here. Listen, DVDs, they're there. It's just like just the games. Here's another one, Dying Light. No, really? Maybe. None of the video games? Maybe we will find them. I'm hoping. Look at this right here. Okay, let me get this last stack of video games out. And let's check these. If these are all empty, then I give up for the cases. Empty. Empty. Ooh, I love Red Dead Redemption. Hey, partly in there, the zombie version. Battlefield 3. Hey, That's we got one. <gasps> oh, this is Black Ops 1. This one's all right. Nope. And Battlefield. Man, none of the games are in there besides one, but we still also have like 20... 25 DVDs in there, so that's always good too. Next little green box here. Let's see what's in this guy. All these boxes are weirdly open. Is that a belt? All right, a belt. And what is this? Jumanji. Jum Jumanji, was it a board game? Yeah, but it's also a movie. Okay. Hey, look. Hey. Popsicle stick uh, <laughs> mania right here. <laughs> they made a wall. They made a wall. Build a wall. <laughs> this is checkers board. What is this right here? No way. Donald Trump <laughs> trolled so all. A Donald Trump trolled all. That's pretty funny. What are these guys? Are these like Dido? Oh no, they're spices. Mm -hmm. Man, this looks like it's gonna explode, doesn't it? Doesn't this look like a firework or something? They're hot sauces. They're hot sauces? This is, look, garlic hot sauce. Oh, you're right. What are, what are these? Red, Red chili, chili, smoky bourbon, and jalapeno. Ooh. I thought they were like fireworks or something. They look like dynamite with a little stick. Uh, there there's another one, Chipotle. Nice. All right. This little guy, another little car. Uh, how do you open it? There it is. The moving, it just says moving forward. Night Series burner. one, night burner. Night burner. A green car. Um, an ancestry kit. It's not in there no more. Ew, what is that? Uh, it's true. It's definitely fugly. <laughs> A funny, ugly monster. <laughs> well, I don't know about funny. I don't see funny, but I see fugly. <laughs> um, <laughs> we need to start calling people fugglers. <laughs> so we got, let's see. So what are these, postcards? That was great. These are all postcards, Steve. <laughs> it's about to laugh. Here's the checkers pieces that probably go to that board we just moved. Um, what's in the package here? First class package, do I just pour it out? Yeah. Uh, Instacart thing. Ah. This, the bandana, a catalog, 1500 for snap on tools. And then, oh look, some fun. Aha! Hey! There Remember, we are. found the two Apple boxes? Now we have two iPhones. I'm gonna read these numbers so people can maybe tell me what they are by the model number. We have a model A1633. That's what that is. And, oh wow, they put this stupid sticky thing over it. So, can't tell you what that one is, but that one's cracked. But hey, iPhones, I was about to say hold their value, but they really don't because 90% of them look like this. Yeah. All it takes is a hard sneeze and you crack it. You know what I just realized? This couch has no cushions and I thought we'd find them somewhere, but we're down to like virtually the end of the unit. So let's throw in one of these boxes. We're gonna have a couch with no cushion, otherwise known as garbage. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Oh, this is heavy. What's in the big box here? Mix it up, go to the big one. Right. Oh, it's bags. I like bags. Like this one. Let's open this guy up first. It doesn't feel empty, but it doesn't feel very full either. It feels like it's got just a little bit of something in it. Now where's the zipper? There it is. 
You saw that, didn't you? No, you didn't wanted to watch me struggle. <laughs> uh, yeah, dirty clothes. No, thank you. I can go over there. Uh, let's see what's in. Ooh, this bag's got some weight, weight to it. Let's see what's in there. This isn't clothes, Smith whatever it is. Bag. Ooh, Smith and Wesson, nice. Let's see what's in the front. Nothing and nothing. I'm telling you, this bag is heavy. There's not clothes in here. And there might be clothes, but there's something else with it. A suspicious black bag with nothing in it. Now, how do we get into the main compartment over here? It is papers. Not papers. Papers and water? Really? What is this? That's a wireless FM transmitter. That's stupid. That good on there. <laughs> Uh, another bag. There's an army bag in here in a box. So we'll get to the army bag. Hopefully that has something in it. This has something right here. Oh great, a swimming ship. A water. Just what I wanted. Let's see what's in the little box. Something is. It is. Oh, it's a card. A picture. I blocked it. Last second. That, oh, this one's heavy. This is an army bag. This has got to be used for like uh, shooting. I would hope. Let's see. Hey. hey. Adele tablet. Nice. That'll go with the phones. Racking up the electronics quick today, huh? Yep. All right. Where's the next zipper at? These freaking folds make this so complicated to see. Let's see what's in there. Nothing in that section. What about this section? Papers and three water bottles. Is this a knife? What is that? No, that's just a strap. Nothing in there besides that. All these bags, I thought we were gonna have some cool stuff. I mean, the tablet's cool. Let's see what's in the blue bag. It's got a knot in it though, so. God oh dang, I can't get it. It's just. Tupperware. Tupperware. Not fun. And then we're down to this hunting camo bag. That's empty. And uh, Ozark trail bag. That's empty. Really, the only cool thing to come out of there was this Dell Intel tablet. Next big old box right here. Ugh, this one's heavy too. The bottom's it's... not taped, be careful. All right, well, at least it's on the table now. Ooh, this one has a lot of stuff in it. Let's start with these shoes. Are they in there? They are in there. And they're pretty clean, actually. There's a letter in here with them, which is kind of strange. What is that for? Uh, good morning. Oh, it was just somebody buying the shoes for them. All right, that's so nice. Um, what else do we have in here? This little thing here. Tape. Tape. And more tape. <laughs> Lots of tape. Did I mention tape? Yeah. Aw. That was a 12 volt DeWalt drill, but the box is empty, unfortunately. This has got a holy Bible in it. Let's flip through it. Is it going to happen today? Uh, nope. By the way, every time I find one, people tell me, look in the pages, there's money in Bibles. People put money in Bibles. I've been buying storage units for about four years now and never found a single dollar in a Bible yet. Uh, this one's got a lot of pictures in it. So this one, oh, whoa, that's a phone card. I'll flip through in more detail. We'll make sure they get it back because it seems personalized. What's this big guy here? Looks like a spice rack maybe. If I had to take my guess, what do you think? Some kind of wall. I mean, a wall shelf. All right. Put whatever on it. Glasses. And then down here, we got blankets and clothes. Let me make sure that's all that's on the other side, too. Blankets. There's something new down here. A new dress shirt. They only paid, what, 36 bucks for it, but hey, it's new. Is that another one in here? Yeah, another one. Also, two brand new dress shirts that they paid 36 bucks a piece for, but the rest of it is just used clothes. Next big old box right here. Ooh. Looks and feels like clothes. And yeah, uh, stuffed animals too. A bag of stuffed animals. And yeah, unfortunately, this one's all clothes. You know when you just pick a box up and you can feel that kind of light, soft feeling? You know it's probably clothes. All right, this box is extremely heavy. Before I open it guys, make sure you take a second, leave this video a like, give us a thumbs up because it helps us out a lot, and subscribe if you are new because we are buying storage units all the time. You'll never know what we're going to find here, so make sure you're subscribed. This one looks like outdoorsy stuff. This is what we call a rope. <laughs> um, this egg thing? Yeah. Looks like eggs. I'm running out of room on the tape here. Let's put these right here. 
All right, what is this guy? That's a lantern, a Coleman lantern. It's still in the box. That looks like it could be kind of expensive. Let's see what this is. Ooh, that's heavy. What is it? Bows? Uh, what kind of bow is that? Told me. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, it says more kitchen. Yeah. It says camping one here, so maybe it's what they use to take outdoors to go, you know, cooking out there. And the very last thing, if you can see it, is an oven. I guess you probably use to cook outside as well. So this is probably just somebody's whole, you know, camping kit right here. Before I grab the next box, I want to point something out cool. In the very first video, we found an airsoft pistol, and I just pointed in here, like, let's see if it shoots, and it shot. Check this out. The plastic on the couch caught the pellet. It's literally just sitting there. It didn't even penetrate it. It's just kind of chilling. I don't know why I just now noticed that. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, Let's fell. go. Let's get a box here. Ugh. Let's see what we got. A little second to last big box. Let's see what's in this one. Toy Story. Ooh, what's that? Oh. A bucket of soldiers. I thought it was like... Wait, that's... I thought it was ammo. That's definitely not soldiers. Yeah, it is. Oh. Certificate of Authenticity, though. Maybe it's like a collector's edition? Oh. I don't know. I wouldn't imagine just like a regular bucket of toy soldiers having a COA with it. That's kind of well, weird. Well, because it's Toy Story. Yeah, I guess. Cards Against Humanity is not in there. What a surprise. Legos! Let's just open it and look in there. Oh, yeah. We have so many Legos. It's unreal at this point. Like, I have to say, not jokingly, 50 pounds or so worth of Legos. This looks like paperwork. Oh, no, it's not. What's the metal at the bottom? Let's see. Oh, this is random. What are these here? These are their actual bank cards, so they'll get that back. But I hear a lot of rattling, so we're gonna have to go through here. Like this. Is this all papers? Yeah, that's all papers. Is it all just papers in here? I hear rattling. Now this right here isn't paper. What is it? Dog leash and a brush. Just dog stuff. Yeah, that's all dog stuff in there. And papers. And in the main box here we have more clothes. A pair of Timberland, like really used though. Boots. And what? Woodland camo stuff? Who would have ever guessed? There's another pair of boots over on this side. A couple pair maybe. Yeah, there's two or yeah, two pairs. They both look pretty used, but these are like the insulated boots that are for being outdoors in the cold. So these are probably a little bit more expensive and there's two pairs of them. So we'll look up what those go for. Last big box in the corner. Let's see. Ooh, I like what I see in here. I see a pistol. Oh my God. Look at this box. Whoa. This looks a little more interesting. What's it? Oh my God, that's super heavy. That's super heavy. Okay, well, wait a second on that. Wait a no, second. No, no. We have to. Look in here. This is, these are all heavy, like what's in here? Handcuffs? What the heck? I'm serious. <laughs> Man, okay. What are all these other tools then? I'm curious just what else he got if he's got handcuffs. Yep. Oof, what? that's a heavy magazine. Yeah, there's a magazine. Is that another one? Oh yeah, it's another mag. And then the handcuffs. <laughs> another one. It has three extra mags on it. Wow. All right, let's see. Oh yes. So earlier, we first opened a unit, we found the AR style rifles and they didn't have any magazines with them. This has one, two, three magazines and I guess these are mag holders. So I'm so glad we found those because I've been looking for those. Is there anything on this side? Yeah, that's more mags. We see, oh, that was just empty. Oh wow, look, there's three more. This has six magazines in it total. That's good, that's good. What else do we got going on here? What's that? This? Yeah. Uh, fuel? With all gas powered airsoft guns, I guess you could refill it. <laughs> uh, this, this, just more tactical gear that can, can hold magazines. It doesn't have any at the moment, but it can hold them. Another pistol holster that has a spare magazine. Look, right there, spare mag. Let's put that right here. What else do we have in here? What's this? It's got something like kind of soft in it. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna find out right now. 
It is this. What's this? Is this more mag? Of course it is. It's another 30 round. No, well, it looks like a 30 round mag. And that's all that was in there. No, another little clip. Anything else in here? Well, here's a whole thing of pellets. Another magazine. This is wild. This is like straight warfare, man. And then just some more tactical gear. The real question is now, what's in- I forgot about the box. Okay, how'd you forget about the box? I don't know, there's Let a me... lot going on. There was, let's put these back in here. We can clear space. What do you think's in there? A gun. Come on, Ugh, that's strong. All right, you like ready? Like an actual gun, yeah. Let's see it. Two of them? Check those out. Ooh, these are nice. You know what I just noticed about this one? Huh. The hammer's pulled back on it. You know what that means? Probably got one in it. Yeah, sure does. Why would you <laughs> store it like that? You didn't just see it hit that thing? It's firing, yeah. <laughs> it's got a loaded mag. Why would they do that? I don't think it's good to store it like that. But you got this guy. Let's check this one. You think it's got one in it too? Yeah. Oh. No, it's cleared. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one's cleared. But man, like if I could just show you, I wish there was a way for you people watching to feel the weight of this. This does not feel like an airsoft. If you pick this up and you didn't see this right here, you would 100% think this is real. And if you saw how the mags drop out, the mags are metal, you chamber it the same way and everything, it's crazy how realistic these things are. This box says Christmas on it, so not too excited. But then again, the first one we opened it had DVDs and games in it. That one said used clothes that fit, but we don't need right now or something like that. <laughs> so they could be lying. Hopefully they are, because I'm not a fan of Christmas lights. Eh, they're not lying this time around. What's this Disney thing over here? I see something Disney in the back right corner. Let's at least see what that is. Ugh. Oh, it's one of those giant blow up Mickey Mouses. How tall is it? Does it say? Uh, uh, yeah. How big Four is it? Four feet. Four feet. That's a tall Mickey. But other than that, man, it's just a crap ton of these white Christmas lights in there. Next box here. It says toner kit on it, so I'm thinking printer, but it doesn't sound like a printer. Um, so construction hard hat. And a thing of BBs. You know how many BBs we found in here too? A lot. Whoa. There's a cool knife. But in here, there's just a bunch of pans, as you can see. Let's see what this knife looks like if we take it out of its sheet. No, oh, man, it ain't coming out, is it? Yeah, that thing's shut. Okay, it could stay. Fine. Let's see what's in the bag here, if anything. It doesn't feel completely empty, so I don't think it is. Nope. Fishing stuff. Hey, look, a couple fishing lures. If you're wondering why I keep laughing at these, well, 2020, we bought a unit that had approximately 10,000 fishing lures in it, so I've seen a lot of these guys doing this. So we got these two little ones, and then there is approximately one, two, three bigger boxes, then we gotta start moving up. This is like super light. I gotta guess, what do you think? Go ahead. Legos. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oh my goodness. What a surprise, but it's like barely full. Like you could have put this in any other box. Some of the boxes in this unit don't make a lot of sense, but it is what it is. This one on the other hand is a lot heavier. Let's see what that, oh. well, it was a lot heavier. So is it books all the way through? It most definitely is all the way down, just books. This box is actually super light, but I can tell it's definitely not empty. So let's see, oh. I think I just, yeah. Is this a Carhartt though? Yeah, this is a big, thick Carhartt here. So these are worth a good amount of money, but it's just a jacket. And that one, Bill. <laughs> and then just a couple more hoodies in there. So let's just put this back in here. I'm gonna toss this box and just grab that one. All right. Cause you can't break a jacket. Yeet. Which one? Little, little or huge? Little. Why'd you say little? Do you see that? <laughs> no, what? This. Oh, it says this is but you know, they've lied before, so we'll check it out. But I don't think they are this time. At least they use jackets this time. Last time, like every dish had one piece of notebook paper around it. Like I was gonna stop it from breaking and that's it. So yeah, let's get this box out of here. Then let's get the huge one to see what's in there. This box was heavier than it looks. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, what's that? First thing I see is this. What was that? Was that the box? I thought something just fired at me. 
with a 12 gauge shotgun shell hanging from it. This right here. Are those stockings? They are, aren't they? These are Christmas stockings. <laughs> I didn't know what it was at first. That's the first. Um, are these just clothes in here? Yeah, this is just like a bathing suit. Oof, this right here. I can't get it out yet. That's wire. Put that over here. But this. Oh no. These are all stuffed animals, literally. All the way through this bag is stuffed animals. They're just gonna go over there. Yeah, there's your Uno Deluxe. I think I see another phone. I do. A ZTE this time. These are a lot cheaper, but I'll still put it over here with the other ones because we sell them in bulk. Papers. Ooh, this is heavy, heavy. What is that? What do you think? What do you say? Any B doctors? doctors? Don't be a first aid kit. It's no. What is that? Like a um. What are they called? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's a no. breathing machine. All right, a breathing machine. We'll just say that. This is a coaster thing or a whatever it's called. Let's see. Man, this box is serious, ain't it? Yeah. This is a note. What are these? Some posters? Anything? What are these from? Walking Dead? That'd be my guess. I have no idea. I'm yeah, probably completely wrong. Yeah, there's a zombie in the background. So. Oh, maybe I'm right. You can make fun of me in the comments. It's okay. Um, here's Monopoly. Why'd you have to show up, Paula? Here's Monopoly. <laughs> Nobody's supposed to know that. Uh, paper. A pelican case. What is this? A shovel? Ooh. Whoa, man. Look at this guy here. Straight combat knife. That's really nice. And I think this one, it has like the screw off thing in the bottom. It can screw off. It has a skill that, never mind, I'm not gonna make that joke. Uh, husky <laughs> bag. It's got a dog ball and some other stuff in it. Just gonna drop that down. More of this like military style tacti tactical gear. So is this. And what is, just some dice. Yeah. Yacht. Yahtzee. What is this? Uh, Vizio TV feet. Uh, is that what that is for real? Let's see. Looks like it, doesn't it? Probably. Uh, is there something else in there? It looks like something at the bottom, like a belt buckle. A little belt buckle. <laughs> Put this right here. This is a Black Hulk. I think it's supposed to be a holster, but it's not in there, I don't think. Some more stuffed animals. Is this a giant canteen? A giant flask. Flask, that's the word I was thinking of. And then a bunch of stuffed animals across the bottom. That's so random, but I guess interesting. Okay, so right here, I think we got an air compressor. Is what a, oh, it says it right there. I guess that would help. Yeah. A nice air compressor. It looks like it's all together. If somebody knows what these things go for on average, let me know down in the comments. Cause yeah, I don't own an air compressor. This down here is I was about to say all closed, but it's not. There's stuff underneath of it, all the way at the bottom. Oh, poor Mike. Why'd you do that? It's a Samsung DVD player, the remote, some shower curtains, and I think yeah, these this is the actual shower curtain. Let's start grabbing from these buckets, so then we can see what's in all these drawers here. This is some Legos mixed with some other random stuff. I'm telling you, the pure quantity of Legos is astounding. This is heavy. What is in here? What is this first off? Just a big old bag? Yeah. A big old bag. A book on the Civil Civil War. Uh, some cards, which again, we'll give them the card. <laughs> they called him a noob in the card. More respect <laughs> for these people. Uh, underneath here, this looks like a lot of plates that are just on top of those clothes probably so they don't get broken. Scoot that over. Let's get into this one. I think I see more Legos. Oh, it's just one bucket now. Three buckets. Yeah, but the other ones are empty, I meant. A big firework. That. Lego boat. And I think inside here, it looks like just a bunch more Legos. I'm gonna keep pulling them around to make sure. But let's see. Cups and Legos. Yeah, and a lock down there. Cups, Legos, and a lock. Now let's start to see what's in these drawers. This one's literally got a shoestring in it. It's like Patrick's secret box from SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. It just has a string in it. This has got a water bottle and a bag and a sock. Oh boy. Papers. 
a book, and a camp badge. What is this? It says do not open. I gotta open it now, you know that, right? <laughs> right. Oh, it's a tiger, look. Oh. A white tiger. Fierce. That's pretty cool. Anything in the envelope? It looks a little raggedy. It's all handwritten stuff, so we'll get it back. Next drawer down. Ooh, a gun. Hey, you think this one fires? Mm -hmm. uh, is there a safety on it? I don't even see a safety. Hmm, maybe it's Jane. Oh, here it is. Fire. <laughs> Nothing in it. What the heck? Are these not the things they put on the auctions? Like on Usually, the... yeah. Why are these in here? I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure these are what they put on the doors when the unit's going up for auction. Why do they have these? Mm. That's really weird. Really, really weird. Okay. Fishing line. Some fishing stuff. What are these right here? Hmm, look at this. Beginning odometer trips. What? Probably, I don't know what that is. Probably something for trucking. Maybe. Phillips Lifeline. What's in here? Let's see. It is. Da da. Oh, just that. A little bit more fishing stuff and a couple of remotes in there. Let's go down to the second one. <laughs> Wheels and large dog something. Let's see what's actually in there though. A piece of paper. Nice. Nothing in there. Nothing. 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 Aha. The bottom one. <laughs> a boot. <laughs> no. What is this? Oh, there's something in there. But at first, dig around a little bit. No, the rest of it's just closed. So this is the only thing hidden in the drawer. So let's see what's in the bag. Nothing there. Uh, open up, nothing here. There's something in there. You hear that rattling just as well as I do. Yes. We gotta figure it out. Let's get into the main compartment right here. Well, a Monopoly collectible tokens. They're just like little pieces in there. Uh, Christmas cards. And another plastic thing for fishing. These to me, they look like pumpkin carving tools. They are. Okay, so that's pretty random too. I guess you could use those on fish. All right, let's move on to the next pile of stuff. Like this brown bag here, which has junk in it right here. But then this Walmart thing, looks like a dog bowl. Yeah, there's a dog leash and maybe a dog vest. Do the dogs get vests? Yeah. Okay, they might. Let's get this and see if these are even in here. I doubt it. Take your random guess what could be in the shoe box. Oh, it doesn't sound like shoes. It sounds like? Oh, it's not Lego, actually. It's a model kit car. I thought it was going to be Legos for sure. There's an envelope under here. What's in there? It's nothing. Nothing. Dang it. All right. Here is another model car. This one's a truck, but this one I don't think is open, so that's cool. We got a bunch of spray paint, sunflower seeds, an American flag. It's ripped again. Why don't they rip all their flags? Uh, that better not be what I think it is. Okay, I was hoping it was the cup. Spray paint. And anything else in here? Sunflower seeds, spray paint, Christmas balls. These are air rifle pellets but i haven't found the air rifle yet it's all been air soft so maybe that i don't know where it could be but maybe this box says dishes so let's just open it right here and see if that's the case Ugh, let's see well that is most definitely the case because i see some cows and i'm wondering if somebody can help me out in the comment section what in the heck is this like what are these i don't have the size idea do you have any guess what that is no. I have no <laughs> idea. So hopefully somebody can help us out in the comments. I guess let's get into the tote and then the last box. Let's see what's in the blue tote now. Ow, I just stepped on whatever this thing is. That did not sound good to my ears. I know. <laughs> blue tote. It's got, what is that, a fan? No, a light? I don't know, fan light? Fan. Hey. Trash we got there, these for the unit. Is there trash bag here? Yeah, there's a bunch right here and there's the smaller cool. ones right there. Cool. We still have a bunch at home from the last unit. Ziploc bags. Envelopes. Nice. Envelopes. Perverse. Ziploc bag. Is this full? Not full, but like halfway full. Then we got Eeyore again. What's in this tote thing? This looks like office supplies to me. 
Yeah, school supplies, office supplies. Nothing too interesting here. What's a little mossy oak? Didn't we find one of these things earlier? Mm -hmm. Whatever that goes to, I'm still not sure. <laughs> All right, who are these two guys that have been stalking me the whole time in the unit? So, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Okay. No idea. <laughs> Somebody, who is this guy? Oh, I've... there's a name. What is it? David Stremme? Or yeah. Stream? David Stream. I've never in my life watched like a lap of a NASCAR race, so I have no idea. That's the only name I've ever even heard of in racing is Dale Earnhardt. Um, we got <laughs> our like, shoes. Dale Earnhardt is my father. <laughs> uh, oh, is it? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a junior, right? Yeah, he's a junior. See, show them what <laughs> And this is, oh Popcorn. boy! Food! Snacks, just what we wanted. And underwear, yes! Food and underwear, two of my favorite things to find in storage units. This down here, ooh, this is just looking to poke me, ain't it? We got, well, a lot more clothes all the way to the bottom. Oh. Ooh, and some, well. I can't see, I tried not to show it. And some <laughs> corn, but you know, pee instead. Last stuff left in the unit, or almost last stuff, is over here we have a host of fishing poles. And of course, because they're fishing poles, they decided to tangle them all up beyond belief. But everyone that owns fishing poles, knows that these things are actually alive and if you just put three of them in the same room like all apart the next morning you wake up they've partied and tangled their stuff up i don't want to move them because i don't know if there's still hooks on them and i don't feel like getting hooked right now so we're just going to leave that right there this guy is this just a speaker yeah sound this bar. is a sound bar the last thing in the unit is on the wall over here i'm gonna use it as a pointer <laughs> we got a hard hat we got a cowboy hat another cowboy hat another hard hat and this looks like an actual like a biking helmet and then another construction type hard hat so you know what for 430 bucks this unit was a lot of fun